Japanese scientists say cooling water may be leaking from another reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They say the water level of the reactor's containment vessel is far shallower than they previously thought. Researchers at the government-backed Japan Nuclear Energy Safety Organization analyzed the internal pressure and other data from the number one reactor. They say the water inside is about 40 centimeters deep. That's 160 centimeters shallower than officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company believed. The researchers say water may be leaking from a hole in a pipe. Still, TEPCO spokespersons say nuclear fuel is being cooled sufficiently, with water temperatures at about 30 degrees Celsius. In March, workers found the water level inside another reactor had fallen to 60 centimetres. Water appears to be leaking there too. The leaks could make the task for decommissioning the plant more difficult. The operator hopes to fill the vessels with water in order to remove melted fuel within 10 years. The people in charge of Fukushima died to say the nuclear plant emitted far more radiation than they thought. They say radioactive materials in the air may exceed estimates by as much as 80%. The actual amount has yet to be confirmed. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company now estimate that 900,000 terabecquerels of iodine-131 and cesium-137 have been released into the air. That's 20% less than the amount emitted after the accident in 1986 at Chernobyl, but it's 50 to 80% higher than separate estimates by the Nuclear Safety Commission and the Nuclear Industrial Safety Agency. TIPCO officials have reviewed the reactors, radiation levels around the plant and radioactive materials in soil samples in their analysis. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has for the first time allowed journalists to go inside a building housing one of the reactors. The number four reactor building was shown to the public at a time when some experts say it may collapse entirely in the event of another strong quake. To limit exposure to radiation, only three journalists and a cameraman were chosen from among the media to accompany Nuclear Crisis Minister Goshi Hosono. The reactor building was damaged heavily by a hydrogen blast on March 15th last year, four days after the tsunami hit the power plant following the earthquake. No meltdown occurred in the reactor because it was temporarily out of operation for a regular check, with all of its nuclear fuel transferred to a storage pool. In the dark reactor building was a pile of debris from destroyed equipment. The visitors were then shown steel rods installed on the second floor after the disaster to heighten quake resistance. The rods were placed in concrete. The radioactive reading on the second floor was 500 microsieverts per hour. Two hours of exposure amounts to the annual permissible level. What used to be the fifth floor now looks like the rooftop. The yellow dome in the wreckage was the lid of a vessel containing the reactor. The storage pool contains 1,535 fuel rods. TEPCO plans to install a cover over the pool in preparation for the removal of the fuel rods next year. Work is underway to remove the ceiling and walls of the reactor building around the pool. I could confirm the building was not leaning and saw the reinforcement work below the pool. The first major step toward decommissioning is the removal of the fuel rods. I could see preparation is definitely underway. Hosono and the media were driven around the sites of all four reactor buildings and were shown equipment designed to remove radioactive material from contaminated water. Engineers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant say they'll remove unused fuel rods from a storage pool and check them for damage. The procedure is dry run for removal of more than 1,500 fuel rods that could pose a threat if there's another earthquake. The engineers plan to remove two unused fuel rods from the pool at the number four reactor in July. If they're successful, they'll remove the rest of the fuel next year. The reactor did not go into meltdown after the tsunami because it was offline. But areas near the storage pool were damaged when hydrogen from another reactor got into the building and exploded. Engineers suspect the explosion weakened the pool. They're reinforcing the pool to keep it intact until they've removed the fuel.